Hello, it's unpopular author Andrew McDonald here to do a short reading from my book, The Greatest Blogger in the World. Now, when authors do book readings, you often miss out on getting that sense of beginning, middle, and end that any good book gives you. So to try to remedy that today, I thought I'd read out the beginning of one book, the middle of my book, and then the end of another book. So to start with, I'll read out something from the beginning of The Hobbit, Tolkien's classic book. From chapter one, An Unexpected Party. In a hole in the ground there lived a hobbit. So that's uh, the hobbit there. And now something from the greatest blogger in the world. And we pick up where our main character, Charlie, is uh, scouring the playground for something interesting to blog about because he's just entered the uh, blogging competition on the internet to win the URL, thegreatestbloggerintheworld.com. I found Fatty standing at a table under a wooden sign that had homemade lemonade for sale scrawled on it. The table was covered in plastic cups and big jugs of lemonade. A whole lot of preps were crowded around the table. Thaddeus had a fistful of money in one hand and was giving out cups of lemonade with the other. Blog post, Monday, August 11, Thaddeus Beats. Thaddeus is my bestie and it's been that way since forever. Thaddeus Beats is his full name, or at least that's what he calls himself. His real name is Gene Bollingworth, which explains why he might want to change his name, but not why he'd change his name to Thaddeus Beats. He says it's his business title. Thaddeus is a true businessman. Blog comments, zero. Thaddeus often sold lemonade at school, but today there were a few preps with cups of red liquid. Thanks Thaddeus, said a happy little prep called Gregory, leaving the stand with a cup of the red stuff. Charlie! Thaddeus saw me and waved me over. I pushed to the front of the lemonade stand. What was he up to? Mr. Leg, our teacher, is always accusing Thaddeus of being crafty, and I don't think it's in appreciation of his work in art class. How are you, my brother? Thaddeus slapped me on the back. I'm good, what are you doing? I asked. Making money, my brother. Making money. Thaddeus is always making money. He says it's the way of the businessman. Of course, selling lemonade at school is not allowed, but Thaddeus was doing more than that. He showed me a big container of red cordial underneath the table. Red cordial is where the big money's really at, he said. Red cordial was a big no-no at our school. Ever since Brent Luter drank a litre of the stuff, climbed the flagpole and wouldn't come down until the end of school bell. But Thaddeus knows what he's doing, he always does. And I always help him out by walking around the schoolyard to make sure there aren't any nearby threats to his business. Threats like teachers, or school monitors, or Principal Chris. Thaddeus calls me his business watchdog. Hey brother, you want to be my business watchdog and do a lap of the area to make sure there aren't any teachers coming? I wouldn't want to be busted for selling lemonade and red cordial. Sure thing, brother, I said. Thaddeus slapped me on the back again, and I set off to secure the area. That's uh, the greatest blogger in the world. And to finish off with, I'll read a short excerpt from the very end of Let's Make Magic. Just from the uh, last page here. Above all, make sure you know exactly what you have to do for each trick. This will help to enhance your image as a great magician. Let's Make Magic. So there we go. I hope that you've learned something about magic, something about the beginning of the book The Hobbit, and something from roughly the middle of the greatest blogger in the world.